Hey guys! So I am back with another video, and today it is going to be on this makeup look, and it is going to be using the palette that I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm the last person to talk about, but I've been traveling, um, so I couldn't get it out during the hype. Hopefully it's still hyped up. I think it is, but it's the Jackiana and Anastasia Beverly Hills collab palette. Um, I did order this myself. I was not sent this in PR or anything like that. I don't even think I'm on Anastasia Beverly Hills radar. Don't nobody know me, okay? But um, I did pick up the PR box. Um, this is the one I ordered. It's like $10 more to get like the package and you get like a little bag. If you have the extra $10, get it. It's a keep safe. Um, if you can't, just get the palette. It's fine. Um, but this is the one that I picked up. Um, it comes with Keep Safe, the palette. I did take, obviously, the palette out of here, and you guys just saw it. Um, but I am going to keep this whole packaging and probably display it in my room somewhere. That is going to be how this look was created. I used all the eyeshadows are from her palette. I think I used one thing that wasn't from her palette in my inner tear duct. Um, but I am loving this look. I'm loving how it's looking. Um, I also use the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation, which was another collab that Jackie Anna had last, either it was earlier this year or like the end of last year. I feel like it was like earlier this year, maybe. I don't know. But um, I also use that foundation, which I've used before in a previous video, um, but I revisited it because I was doing obviously a video that she collabed with another brand on so I decided to use that particular foundation with this video as well um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this was originally supposed to be a getting ready with me update kind of video but I was kind of rambling so if you guys see me talking throughout the video because I am going to be voice overing this um, I'm sorry uh, it was supposed to be a talking getting ready with me but that did not happen and when I watched the clips it kind of felt a little like rambling to me and that's what it sounded like to me so yeah so that's that um also let me know what you guys think of this whole lighting setup situation here um I did do some changes to this room and if you guys want to see like a beauty room tour I feel feel like I feel like I'm almost finished this, with this room there's just like a few final touches that I need to do um, but if you guys want to see kind of like a beauty room setup let me know and I will have that out for you guys and try to get that filmed and recorded because it actually is kind of like a pretty decent setup in here and I kind of like how I have it um, so if you guys want to see that then definitely let me know down in the comment section of this video and I will try to have it out for you guys I'm pretty much done in this video there's just a few like I said final touches that I need to put in here other than that the room is actually done um what else and yeah um so I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me using the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Jackie Ina collab palette I really hope you guys like this look I really like it it's feel like it's a look that you can wear every day like not every day like night out you can wear it I mean if you're like bold Honestly, this is like a nice, cool, kind of glam look um, that I would wear. I would usually wear this going out. Like, I wouldn't wear this to work personally. But you can definitely create some looks, like, just for work in here. Honestly, I do like this palette. I know some people were kind of, like, being a little extra about the palette. But I like it. Um, like I said, I don't have any other Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I've never bought any of their eyeshadow palettes before ever in life. So I can't compare it to anything else. So for me... The palette is great. Um, for those who have bought a lot of Anastasia Beverly Hills, then your obviously your opinions may be a little bit different. But for me, I like it. It works um, very pigmented. Um, there is kickback on some of the shades, but that's kind of normal with most um, pigmented kind of shadows and like mattes and things like that. There's going to be some kick up here and there. That doesn't make or break me. I can care less. And so things, minor things like that don't bother me. Kick up doesn't bother me at all. But I really, really like the palette. I'm glad I bought it. Um, and like I said, I did buy everything with my own money. So I hope you guys enjoy. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Mm.
first I'm going to be starting off with the Too Faced uh, Born This Way Concealer in the shade Maple and I'm just going to use that to act as a eyeshadow base also to get rid of any discoloration on my lid just that just so that it's all one color and then the first eyeshadow that I'm going to be using is the shade Ginger which I love it's so pretty and I'm just going to be packing that on and really blowing that out you guys know I like doing this with most of my eyeshadow looks the next shade I'm going to be going in underneath that is the shade Edges, which is a just like a really nice kind of Moroccan kind of shade. And then on my outer V, I'm going to be applying credit and just blending that in in that outer V and kind of bring it like halfway in. This is going to be a very easy look. I didn't use too many shadows from the palette for this look, and but I will have a few other looks coming out using this palette. And I just make sure when I'm doing a really blended look, I just go back with all the colors and brushes that I use and just blend it out. Then I'm going to slightly cut, cut the inner part of my lid and the shade of concealer that I used, I believe was chestnut. And I'm just gonna take the shade, the shade Zam and I'm gonna first apply with my finger and then use a brush to apply it really close to where I cut the crease at. It applies really, really good on your fingers. So if you don't have any nails, um, I would definitely apply it with your finger and it works really well. And I'm just gonna take a pencil brush and a little bit of credit and just define that cut crease just on the outer portion of the crease. and poreless and hangover primer and just blend that into my skin and I'm just gonna color correct I'm gonna be using the black radiance color corrector in orange and in salmon just to get rid of that discoloration kind of around my mouth area and just a few dark spots and I'm just going to set that um, corrector with my, I believe this is the Black Opal Finishing Powder in Dark. And I just use that to set my primer and also to set that color corrector. For my foundation, I'm going in with the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation in the shade Chai. You guys know I have a love-hate relationship with this foundation. But today I loved it, so that's what I'm gonna be going in with. And then I went in with my NYX um, HD Concealer and Espresso to contour and the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer in the shade Chestnut to highlight in the usual areas. And I'm sorry I'm like kind of speeding through this. You guys have seen my foundation routine, and this eye look is super simple and super easy. But I'm just going to blend that out with my beauty blender and I do blend out my under eye concealer last as always. a brush with the, these powders in particular because it just works better instead of setting it with a sponge. Next I'm going to go into my Black Radiance Contour Palette and I'm going to use that shade Sculpt just to blend out the edges and apply it underneath my brow bone and I'm just going to line my eyes with the NYX Stay, uh, I think it's the Stay Liner. And I'm just gonna pretty much apply those three shades, three matte shades that I used on my lid underneath my lash line. I used Credit first, then I went in with Edges, and then I smoked it out with Ginger. 
and applied some mascara on my lower lash line. I did apply some lashes this time, which I don't usually do, but I did apply some lashes. I like how it looked. And then I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the Beauty Bakery Almond Setting Base Powder. bronze with the covergirl ebony uh, bronzer um, which this was my first time using it and I absolutely love it I didn't this this has been a hyped up bronzer for years um, and I finally got my hands on it but I actually really like it next I'm gonna go in with the shade Boomin. this is from the ColourPop and makeup by Shayla collab and I'm just gonna use that as my inner tear duct highlight and also to highlight the rest of my face like my nose the high points of my cheeks and I believe I do it on my cupid's bow as well and for my lip um, I'm gonna go in with the shade Chateau which is from Colourpop it's one of their lippy sticks and I actually topped the lip color off with the shade Zam from the Jackie Ina and ABH palette and that is it for the final look um guys I hope you guys enjoy it was really easy really simple and I will see you guys next time bye